Hi guys, my name is Benjamin Papek. I'm a professional actor, and you may have seen me play Max on Greenhouse Academy, which is a Netflix show, or something else that I've done. You can find me on Instagerms or the Twitter sphere at vbenpapak, T-H-E-B-E-N-P-A-P-A-C, and you can find Rosetta Stone on there too, at Rosetta Stone. So I'm here to talk about my journey becoming multilingual with the help of Rosetta Stone's app. First, I thought I was going to start with Mandarin, and then I realized that would be really hard. Uh, number one, they have their own alphabet. Actually, that's the only reason I need. They have their own alphabet. So instead, I thought I would start with Portuguese. I know a little bit of Spanish, and they're not the same, but there are similarities. And my roommate, Mariana Aguaviva Brasaroto, also speaks Portuguese, so I can practice with her, much to her annoyance. This is a brand new language for me, which means I'm starting in the very beginning. I'm in unit one of the Rosetta Stone app, which is called Language Basics. It's all the stuff that a little kid would learn. But if I'm gonna give you guys some examples, we should take a walk. Because I asked myself, where would someone go if they're learning Portuguese to ask a question like, okay, é isso? É uma árvore. Uma mulher está lendo. Um homem. Every now and then I'm going to highlight things in the Rosetta Stone app that I personally think are really cool. So today I'm going to focus on something in extended learning. When you're in the app, go to the menu in the corner, go to extended learning inside that, and you're going to see two things. I want to focus on one of those, which is called stories. <laughs> Yes, I like the one about the cat. A casa na árvore. Um menino e um gato preto e branco estão em uma casa na árvore. O menino está lendo um livro grande e o gato está dormindo. Não há adultos, não há cachorros. Há o seu azul e branco, o sol amarelo e as folhas verdes. The other thing I want to do on here is talk about stuff that I find really cool and interesting and talk about stuff that's really frustrating for whatever reason. I'll start with interesting. The sounds that Portuguese makes are totally different from other Romance languages. Don't know why, but they are. The letters O and A are good examples. Not the only ones, but they're the ones I want to talk about. O becomes O all the time, and A, when it's in the middle of a word, often becomes A. Uh. Not A, 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 or A, A. Uh. A really cool example word for this is andando, which has both sounds in it. Something that's really freaking hard for me is learning the words for plate, bowl, and cup. It's not entirely my fault, because in English, plate, done, bowl, done, cup, done. Whereas in Portuguese, while plate is easy, prato, not that big a deal, I apologize for the Italian accent. Cup, xícara. Xícara. Why does it have to be a, a weird thing with an X in front and three syllables? And bowl is chigala. Almost the same, it's just like a weird cousin of xícara. I, I don't know where they come from. So if anyone wants to tell me, please jump on Instagram or Twitter, tag me at the Ben Papik and help me understand. Yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun making this for you. And uh, be back in a couple weeks with my next post of Learning Portuguese.